Sorry. The Logan. This is the shit you'll see every time it's changed. Got a game too. Tells you fucking shit. Uh, you have free files on here. Text editor. Boom. That's where you say you want. You know, you welcome message. Config. This controls. All your shit. This here, no need to worry about these. If they get changed, they'll automatically go back to normal. Entry list is another easy thing. Basically, first of all, for address server, you install this, go overwrite. Right. Boom. If you go to file manager, content, tracks. Boom, all those tracks are in there. Now, what you want to do is go to cards. Select them all, delete, literally better if not having any of these. Doing this it stops like the client and server checking to see if there's mismatches and if there's mismatches the person won't be able to get them to. This already has quite a lot of fucking cars on it, as you can see. As for the drift maps, it's got pretty much every single one you need. Uh, now what you want to do is you want to go to... So it's either C, Steam, Steam Apps, you go into your set of course, uh, go to server, go to server manager. And this is how to set up the server. So this is the way that I did. So you click on one, go to tracks. Literally no need to worry about my stitch that from. So you select the track. So you say you want Drift Playground. It's got 24 slots. Car entry. This is where you put in for your cars. As you can see, I've already got some in there. Boom. So you say you just want a fucking stock standard. You got 24 slots to fill, so smash them in. And I fucking. Everyone wants it. You can do this any car. So now I've got 24, 24. This is where you can set the weather by default, most of the shits. Yeah. So this is where you set what you want. The stability control, blah, 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 fucking. 
all of that shit was pretty self-explanatory. Again, yeah, no need to worry about that bit because that will get overridden. So now we've got sessions. So at the moment, you can set it up as a full race server. I've not played around with races. So this is how I do it. Practice, boom, clear, time of day, fucking one o'clock. Now, you just got to be save that. As you can see, it's called the ball. Now, export it. Just gonna smash this in here. There's already some files in there. So now you go to where you did it, and you have these two files. That one there, there are your cars. You can literally just copy and paste. Drop C. Now go back to here. Car entry. Paste it all in there. Now you got this bit here. Now what I do is usually once it's all set up, you can just basically putting in the car and the track that you want. That's all it is. Sun angle, that's your time of day. Boom. There you go. Name it. Admin password. That's the uh, admin server password. If you want to serve a password on the server, so boom. Again, down here. This is crucial. You set forty slots, but the track can only handle twenty-four. If these numbers are different, it's going to fully fuck out. So, you just want to practice session. Just fucking, well, whatever. You don't even need dynamic track and all shit like that. It's up to you. You can play around with all of that. Time equals so sixty six is one hour. And that's it, you got damage multiplier and all of that. Just save that. Let's go back to your server. Boom! The server is now up and running. So if you go in the game now, you'll be able to see. So I use this handy little fucking website here. Now if I put in. Should shut. <laughs> it takes a little bit for this shit to update. But yeah, it, it works. It's as simple as it is. Just using that program um, that collects all the car information for you. The 
the tracks, there's like 30 something tracks in there, most of all the drifting ones. I'll add more in as time goes past, just down the track. Um, also, I'll be adding in other mods like S Tracker and Track Cycle once I've sort out. Go to 